Hey guys, so today I'm doing a little color study and just wanted to go through the process with that, with you guys with that. Um, I look at these as a good opportunity to let loose and experiment with textures and just be really free with the, the painting. Uh, and like, if it doesn't work out, it's not that big a deal. However, I did start painting them on panels more recently because a lot of times they end up being something that people want just as much as the regular painting, so it's more beneficial just to paint it on something that's more permanent. Sometimes I'll paint them on like a scrap piece of canvas also, but that can be problematic if you wanna sell it later on. So what I'm doing here is blocking it in like I normally would for a painting. Um, this is helpful to see if like the overall composition is working to decide if this is something you really do want to make into a bigger painting and I like tried out a few colors on Photoshop and sort of like this pinkish purpley color uh, for the background. When you do these small color studies, it helps you like take a closer look at your subject. So then when you're doing the final painting, you have a better understanding of what you're doing and you can paint it even better and more confidently. For something like this with this blue dress, I think it's useful to sort of go over it once before and think about how you might want to paint it. I ended up doing these really fluid brush marks that you'll see in a second with the blue dress, which I thought really helped um, give it a lot of energy. And that's something maybe I wouldn't have thought of if I was just doing a large painting right away. I might have been a little bit too conservative with it. So I think taking that into the large piece, making it really fluid and expressive when I'm doing the dress will be really helpful. Yeah, so overall I just think these are great ways to let loose and experiment with textures and colors and just do whatever you feel like doing because they're so tiny and it's not, not a big deal. Anything you can do to help get yourself out of your head and just be in the moment is helpful for your painting. So these studies, I think you are sort of in the moment because you want to start it and complete it within an hour or two. So you really don't have time to overthink it. Obviously you don't need to get a level of detail because they're just a tiny study, so detail does, doesn't even come into the picture too much. I mean, I, I tried to make the face work a little bit, but it wasn't the main goal, wasn't to get like a detailed face. So it just naturally forces you to think about the big picture, the shapes, the colors, and is this going to work on a larger format. The detail is something you know you can do and spend more time with later on the big piece. So I hope this helps as just an idea of a way to force yourself in the moment and I really do think it does help improve the final results of the painting. I don't do it for everything, but it always seems to help when I do. Let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys do studies for your paintings? I'd be curious to know. And if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing more videos soon. Thanks for watching.